I just got my Answer Ladies mid gauge machine knitting notebook activated on Ravelry and up on my website. As you may recall from another video, there were some technical difficulties, but they're resolved now and you can get it. It has two available gauges, five stitches, seven rows per inch and 5.5 stitches, eight rows per inch written into the book. With two gauges and 19 sizes all in one place, it was essential to find a tidy way to present these facts. So all of your patterns look like this one. They are fill in the blanks and the blanks are filled in from the values in charts like this one so that you can make something for any size using either gauge. I thought you might like to see what yarns have worked for me while creating the book and here are several of them. In case these labels are too small to read, it's Mary Lou's Liberty Plus which also performs very much like Tam Nordic and like Karen Simply Soft. Knit Picks, Kotlin, Mary Maxim Fresh, Patton's Astra, Karen Naturally Spa, and Premier Bloom. I've used these in a lot of the samples for the book, and here I'm going to swatch them all before your eyes. First, the Patton's Astra. Next, the Mary Lou's, which feels and looks a little bit thicker, so I turn the dial up a little bit. Next comes the Knit Picks Kotlin, followed by the Premier Bloom, followed by the Karen Spa. Most of these yarns are designed for hand knitters and put up for hand knitters, but they knit well on the machine also. Most of them are actually called DK yarns. Some of them are called light worsted. There's not a big difference, but light worsted, in my experience, tends to be just a touch heavier. On my KX350, I knitted all of them between 4.0 and 5.5 on the dial. You would be amazed. I get similar results on my Artisan 70D, but I have to turn it way, way up. I knitted the last sample on stitch size 9 on the 70D. They are really different, though they're both mid-gauge machines. Here are the results of my swatching. Now, of course, I just let this relax off of the machine and measured. In real life, if I were making a garment, I would wash it and dry it as well as letting it relax because I don't want any surprises after putting in hours of work. But you can see that all of the DK yarns and light worsted yarns get one of the gauges in the book quite easily. So I recommend that you try some of these yarns. They always perform well for me. By the way, I don't have an LK150, but I have compared notes closely with really fine knitters who do, and we are usually quite close in stitch size, perhaps a half a click off on the dial. So I know that you can get great results with these gauges too. Happy mid-gauge knitting.